This is your Solana Daily Debrief. It's the 3rd of May. What's the market going to do? We'll work out that, or at least we'll discuss that in a second. Then there's plenty more opportunities that we'll cover. So make sure you watch to the end. Let's dive in. Starting with CoinGecko, of course, Bitcoin up slightly, Ethereum up slightly. Of course, just a couple of days ago, people were calling for $2,000. We could still go there, of course, for Ethereum. However, just keep in mind when people will say these things, they're looking at the charts in real time, new data, new decisions. Solana, basically the same, $136. Now, who was actually calling for maybe 2 to 2.2K for ETH? St. Pump was. However, his latest tweet is, with things breaking down, it looks like a multi-month alt season is in the making. In other words, Sol should be going higher. So what is St. Pump's thesis? Solana, big Solana bag, retail chain. It's likely that new entrants will enter the market through it as they did last cycle amazing ux amazing user interface it's very easy to do this blockchain and i'll give you a little bit of an example if i jump into my phantom wallet here one the wallet just works also backpack and soul flare they are pretty good as well especially when you consider them to like metamask and then i come here and i can click and i can work out which wallets are eligible for drift these are tutorial wallets just so you are very very clear i wasn't trying to game a system i just the tutorial wallets i have to use different wallets to cover things and you know this is now worth a little bit which is cool then we've got nice colors and we can see all of our nfts we can see we've got all these they load quickly the swap routes via jupiter jupiter i don't think people understand i'm going off on tangent i apologize jupiter is absolutely amazing there's nothing like it on any other chain nowhere close in any way then you can see everything this is a nice UI. The actual explorers are probably a little bit confusing, but generally they are nicer than like Etherscan. And then you've got a nice DAP browser. And this is just in one wallet, let alone the rest of the blockchain. Anyway, Whiff, he's bullish for Whiff. Pepe, Pepe of course is on ETH. ETH longs after Trump is back in office to play the ETH ETF narrative. And Monad, I'm very, very excited for Monad as well, for a quick buck late cycle as it'll be hard shield. What about Mags? What does Mags think? don't miss the bottom again long story short maybe the bottom for bitcoin is once again in what about invest answers m2 money supply set to explode bitcoin here we go but then again we've just had a pump what caused this pump well per this information this is from coinbase and ultimately coinbase is probably the most reputable source in all of crypto in terms of centralized exchanges you can see the financial trading volume between retail and institutional so looking at the last cycle we can see institutional grew 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 we also had some decent movement from retail and then if we compare it to this cycle consumer minimal 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 growing it's growing now however this big pump was primarily caused by institutional this is 56 billion dollars in consumer this will probably be 500 billion in the next couple of quarters maybe not this quarter or the next quarter but sometime during this cycle coinbase will probably have 500 billion dollars worth of consumer quarterly trading volume and if they have 500 billion i'm pretty sure institutional will be over a trillion what is curb's view long story up it goes you can read this a lot of the timeline has flipped bearish i mean at least 99 percent in his case my timeline is a little bit different however he sees this as the most significant support resistance line in soul's history that's his view i'm not sure exactly how he's come to that conclusion his suggestion is start muting people who relentlessly flip bias and study conviction in general narratives do play a major part in just all things with regards to price franklin templeton digital assets has solana accelerated adoption a nice little piece here you can go and give it a read it is referencing just to be completely fair it's referencing the fire dancer client which is on a test net basis only maybe we see some sort of mainnet beta december maybe a little bit earlier but we're not at the 687 megabytes per second, not yet. We have some good news from MoonPay. US PayPal users can purchase these wonderful tokens via MoonPay. Of all of these here, I would probably just go for Solana. I don't think Cardano is gonna get a massive kind of rally this cycle. And Polkadot, it just seems to be one of those chains that wants to build for lifetime after lifetime. Chainlink, in my opinion, has a lot of sell pressure. I believe the team used to be selling quite a bit of their actual tokens maybe they're still doing the same shiba inu that will probably do relatively well so will doge however these market caps are a lot higher already so their chance to explode even higher maybe not so much 
Now we've got some good news with the Camino token. It's almost at nine cents or it just hit nine cents. So this dipped down below four cents and it's doubled. It came out, it was released kind of 16 cents or 15 cents depending on the exchange. Down it went and then up it's gone. So for full transparency, I have not claimed all of my Camino. When I do so, I will go and stake it and I will add some to liquidity pools. I already showed you a couple of days ago me adding a small amount to the Jito Soul and Camino pool that of course has now been probably mostly sold and I'm probably just sitting in Jito Soul due to the fact that we've just pumped up 48%. Anyway, over 370 million Camino has now been staked. This accounts for 60% of all claimed Camino. This is a really good metric to see. And I requested this a little while ago. I said, I want to see some Meteor pools. And now we've got some. Camino and Dupe Soul is now live, earning 2x Camino points, as well as Met Stimulus. Right now, I would probably say this is your alpha. If you want to do liquidity providing, then this would probably be worthwhile. Mostly, just to be clear, because of the Met points and the Camino points. I've said this many times before, but I'll say it again. The goal when providing liquidity is to outperform impairment loss. If you cannot outperform impairment loss, then you're best to just hold the two assets separately. Bybit has some sort of airdrop campaign with Camino. Huge amount of Camino awaits. And this link is below. I do use Bybit, not too much. I will have a referral link if you haven't signed up already. Entirely up to you. Jupiter is continuing to ship a whole lot. Their price API is more accurate to our users and just deploying just fixes and improvements so fast that I just don't think anyone's going to be able to keep up with them. We've got some news from Meteora. So Meteor expands its LP army to include meme coins. We've generated millions in LP fees for token launches. And for meme coin creators, we now allow you to compound and claim fees on permanently locked liquidity for all time. So one reason why people weren't using Meteora, instead they're using Radium, and that's where, you know, pretty much all of the meme coins have been deployed, is because you could go and actually burn the LP tokens. And you couldn't do that on Meteora. As far as I'm aware, you can now go and burn the liquidity with Meteora. So in my opinion, Meteora is definitely the place if you're going to go and create some random meme coin, go put in the liquidity pool right here. Jito Sol is now the largest Solana protocol by TVL, just slightly bigger than Marinade. GameShift is coming to Google Cloud. When it comes to all this gaming stuff and it's developer related, I actually don't understand it terribly well. All I like to see is that there are improvements being made in the developer ecosystem. Hopefully this cycle, even probably within the next year, we start to get some really cool games shipping. We already have a couple of really cool ones. I do suggest you watch my video on DeFi land. Well, it's actually a podcast, but DeFi land and their Alpaca Dash. And just for context, they were building that for 14 months. So that's how long it takes to even ship something in kind of a beta stage. Either way, this will see mass adoption in my opinion. Just your daily reminder to go and mint on the DReader app, the DAA comic. One lucky comic minter will win this DAA PFP. Also, Solana Sensei has just added another perk to the recruits mint. One lucky minter will win a whitelist spot for his upcoming Solana Sensei. There's only a thousand comics left. The mint price is 0.2 sol. However, if you sign up to DReader, and actually use your email address and login, then you actually get a 10% discount as well. There's just under 900 remaining. I covered this in a separate video on Greed. Long story short, Greed will not be issuing a token. Instead, they've taken your soul and they've locked it in a validator. You still own the soul, you still get a good APY, and that will unlock in September during Solana Breakpoint. For more information, check out my Greed video. The Solana Ecosystem Call, May edition. This went live, lots of views. Lots of good news in here. I would like to take a TLDR. I just don't know if I've got time, but I'll do my best. Uproc is a project that I'm very, very keen on. They're doing great things when it comes to data collection and AI and not collecting your data, just collecting the data on the internet from your IP address. And then from there, they can collect this data. And this is the future of AI. We have to keep in mind one very important thing. Data is more valuable than oil. Everything's about data. Data is concentrated within a few small camps. Google, Microsoft, Meta, probably a couple of other big ones out there as well. But this is giving us a path of decentralization where you can earn tokens for actually providing the data. I use it personally and I'll do a video on it in the coming week. If you do have some UPT tokens, you can go and sell them on Wales Market or you can go and buy some on Wales Market as well. Parcel update, 1 billion parcel points, 50K in parcel, 2000 USDC, and two NFTs. Prizes larger than ever before, way bigger. 
So if you know how to trade real estate, check it out. Make sure you're actually getting some of those rewards. Cubic, which is all about providing public goods to the Solana ecosystem, they have introduced iSoul. This is with Sanctum, and this is a new LST. I'm unsure if it's going to have a pet. If you don't know what I'm referring to when I say pet, check out the Sanctum video. But of course, I think we're all after pets. So they need a pet. Otherwise, people probably won't go and grab them. So hopefully they get that pet. Sonar Watch, which is similar to Step Finance in that it shows your portfolio. It's a portfolio tracker. They're now showing you Sanctum Wonderland points, Parcel, the new season points, and Solend protocol points as well. And Validator.com, I am the GM of Validator.com. GM stands for General Manager, by the way, someone asked the other day. We're just putting out a lot more education. Remember to stake your soul, stake it with us, but never ever give out your seed phrase. I know it's simple, but people do it all the time. If I ask for it, don't give it to me. If you see it on a, a website to input your seed phrase, don't do it. Your seed phrase, you keep it safe and that's it. There's no ifs, buts, maybes. Just keep your seed phrase nice and safe. Please, please, please keep it nice and safe. And once you have a little bit more knowledge, a little bit more crypto, make sure you go and grab yourself a ledger as well. If you're playing Blessed Burgers or if you want to, keep in mind the amount in the pot is massive it's like over 150k go and either get a blessed burger or if you've got one already fantastic game four starts friday 5 p.m utc just keep in mind that there's a decent amount of effort you need to put into this it's not as easy as just buy hope you got to do stuff and the next thing is rock paper scissors against a matched opponent i might go and buy one more i'll set reminders this time so i don't get burnt now a quick lesson of the day so I get a lot of comments on videos and some of them are asking for help and some of them are a little bit critical and that's fine. Go and comment away, go for it. This is from the 1st of May and I'm going to clarify something here. So this is crypto person and basically we'll just quickly read it. Advising people to pre-sell drift with no explanation to why, just because I got a small allocation and it'll probably drop to half the price at TGE. Bro, I've followed you for some months now and really enjoyed the content, but this communication just makes you look like an amateur. No consideration to market cap or anything. Initial supply will be 120 million and it's currently selling for 29 cents on Wales market. That gives it a market cap of 33 mil. Then based on that, you can advise people to sell or keep. If you really think a market cap of 33 million is too high for drift protocol, then yes, by all means, pre-sell. Pre-sell to me. So firstly, I'm not telling you to do anything. I'm not advising you. That's pretty important. I'm just saying, what is the data we have? The other thing is, by the time I record this information, you need to have a certain amount of information yourself about the actual token. So if we go and have a look at Wales market, we'll go into the DAP and let's have a look. This is the drift pre-market. Now this is the pre-market here, and this is for points. Now what I had in my mind was actually the points. If we jump into drift protocol points, we zoom out to one day, we can go back uh, not even too long ago. We can go into March and we can see one point was worth $5 and then it was worth $3.50 and then even just a few days ago it was a dollar 80 and then around this time this is when I started to record the video and then it released and the price just plummeted this is the reality now if we go and have a look at pre-market tokens we can see probably a similar thing drift we can go back and we're at a dollar and 37 and then a dollar 12 and then the information came out and down we fell we fell to like 25 cents so what I'm trying to point out here is firstly, anything that I generally cover, I'll ultimately have another video, hopefully on that. And you can watch that. But all I'm trying to point out at the moment is from all the data we have, when a token is released, the token seems to be selling at a pre-sale price much higher and then it dips. Now, if I say I think it's going to dip further, we have to just keep in mind that there's going to be delay between me recording and delay between it being edited and then put out on actual YouTube. So you need to work out yourself and I probably can't give you 10 minutes worth of information on every single topic because then the video will be too long and no one will watch it. So all I need to tell you is typically these have a higher valuation a few days before there tends to be an announcement of when it's gonna be released. And we can look at so many tokens like this. And this is all I really wanna keep in mind. If you wanna cash in some profits, you can use Wales Market. If you don't, if you're long-term bullish, completely fine. Because of course, it is a taxable event in most countries when you go and sell one token. So here, it would have been probably nice to sell at this point here, as opposed to waiting to right now, it's come up a little bit to 38 cents. I'm just gonna show you a couple of other tokens as well. 
guess we're not going to be able to see them with too many because these have already ended. Ah, here we are. So wormhole token, last price $1.50. This was as high as $1.80. Zeus, 84 cents. That did pump to a dollar. Now it's lower. Camino, last price 11. It went up to like 18 cents. Then it went down to under 4 cents and now it's at 9. Parcel, I don't know what parcel's at, but I'm pretty sure it's probably at like 40 cents, 50 cents. But it was last price this. And at one stage, I'm pretty sure it was over a dollar. I could be mistaken though. 17 days ago, let's kind of flick it back. We won't worry. All we need to know is it was around about $1. So to make it clear, the trend is if you pre-sell your token, you're probably going to get more than what it's listed at. But if you like the token, then you don't have to pre-sell it. I like Parcel. I like Camino, and I also like Drift. I have pre-sold a small amount of Drift, a small amount. That is inherently the lesson there. Final thing before we jump into the actionables, we're at vote.dupe.ag. You need to make sure that you vote. We've got three different proposals. Each of these will get one third of the ASR, so the active staking rewards. If you lock up your dupe by connecting your wallet, I'm not sure if I have any dupe in here. I've got 45. Okay, so if you lock up your dupe, then you go and vote, then you will be eligible for active staking rewards. If you forget to vote, your active staking rewards will be lower. We've got until the 5th of May, so make sure you do it today or tomorrow. Don't leave it for the last day. It's a Sunday, you may get busy. It gives here the budget. You can go and abstain, four against. I'm going to go with four. I imagine most people are going to vote for four. You can do whatever you like. You can read all the information by going to read more. This will open up the dupe research and you can go through here. There's probably gonna be some criticism on the amount of money that people are actually asking for. The honest reality is you cannot pay a small amount and expect people to hustle. It just doesn't work. And if we have a look here, most people are in agreement. Do your own research, of course, but I'm voting for four. You need to spend money in order to make money and people need to be rewarded enough, in my opinion, to actually do the job and do the job well. This is Web3 and in my opinion, and this is not health advice or sanity advice, but you can't actually take off a full day each week. I work six and a half days every single week. And if you wanna achieve all of the goals, learn everything you need to learn, that's what you need to do. Now, I'm not sure if these people are doing that, but I bet more of them are quite keen on pushing for that. So they level up their skills and essentially just grow the pie. Now our actionables. So Meteora, Camino Dupe Soul Vault on Camino, you're gonna get some Met points as well as Camino points. And hopefully the yield outperforms the impairment loss. Don't have to do it if you're not keen. Cast your dupe vote for the three trial working groups as discussed. Claim D Bridges glob on drip and do the quests. I haven't got a tutorial on this. Fairly sure that it's pretty easy, so you should be okay. And the DAA comic, it's still minting. I really like these comics. Fantastic art. Of course, I have my own bias. That's my ape, or one of my apes in the background. But I do think it is worth pushing some of the Web3 IP to actually push it, see if we can grow it, have that Web3 kind of feel but bring in the web two people so essentially this is a trial this is a pilot let's see if we can actually make this a success bless burgers game four this starts at 5 p.m utc if you're playing get amongst it and watch my ledger series on youtube and get a ledger keep in mind that this is using an older wallet called avana avana wallet is no longer around they did not survive the ftx crash and instead you're going to have to use phantom backpack or soul flare but the premise is completely the same. Thanks so much for watching. Catch you in the next video.